please check out my Twitch channel at Oli the Repair Dude as I am slowly moving away from bypass. For the time being, I'll be still making bypass video till my Twitch have a good following. The link to the Twitch channel will be in the description below. Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bypass and jailbreak iPhone 4 on Windows. As you can see, I have an iPhone 4 GSM on the activation of screen and I would like to bypass and jailbreak this device. Let's get started with the tutorial video. The first step is to go to whatever browser you use. Search I remove to iPhone 4. Go to bypass iPhone 4 4S iCloud. Click the first subscribe YouTube button and subscribe to the YouTube channel of iRemove Tools. As you can see, I already subscribed to it, so I'll be closing the tab. Then click download. I already downloaded the zip file and unzip the executable to my desktop. So I'll be going to the next step, which is to open the iRemove Tools. Close the web browser. Open iRemove Tools. Click Order by Pass Service. Enter your name and your email address. Click Accept Agreement. Click Buy Now. Once you get Dear Customer, thank you for purchase, you can now close the browser window and click Start Bypass. And boom, to the location service page. Set up the device. And boom, to the home screen. The next step is to jailbreak the device with 3U tools. You can close I remove tools for now. Open 3U tools. Go to Flash and JB. Click Run Jailbreak. This will jailbreak the device. If jailbreak fail, we can try clicking the Retry button. Once get, please revise system date to 2014-6-1. Go to Settings. General, date and time, disable set automatically, change the time to, I mean the date to somewhere beyond, somewhere earlier than 2014-6-1. Keep scrolling down the date till we reach 2013. Or somewhere beyond, I mean earlier than 2014. This is not the date we wanted. It must be earlier than June 2014. Now it's jailbreaking. Continue the jailbreak process. You can now go back to the home screen. When it says, please click Pengu icon on the screen. Open up the Pengu app. Press continue. Continue the jailbreak process. Let the device reboot and go back to the activation lock screen, aka the setup screen. This is normal. And allow it to continue the jailbreak process. Allow it to transmit the jailbreak data. You can slide to unlock. Let it go to the activation lock screen. Let it jailbreak. This will take some time. Once you say jailbreak is complete, allow the device to respring and reboot. This will take some time. You'll get this Welcome to Pango 
screen. This will take some time. Let it load. And boom, back to the setup screen. You can now close Trio Tools and open I Remove Tools again. Click Start Bypass. If it says your device is successfully bypassed, lock the screen and boom, back to the lock screen, slide to unlock, open Cydia, let this load completely finish. And boom, reboots to the Apple logo. I mean, we spring to the Apple logo. Slide to unlock. Open CD again. Let it load to the upgrade pop up. Tap return to CD. Uh, let this reload first before we can tap. You can now tap that button. Tap ignore temporary. You can upgrade later if you want to. Go to search. Search for Fusa. Tap Fusa file manager. Tap install. Tap confirm. Allow it to download and install. This will take a while. Tap return to Cydia. Go back to the home screen. Tap on Fusa. Press mobile, press bar, press the slash. Go to applications. Search for setup.app. Press and hold setup.app. Press trash. Press OK, the setup app. Now I can show you this is untethered. Turn off the iPhone. Let the iPhone turn off. Turn on the iPhone again. This time you won't see the activation lock screen, aka setup app. And boom! On the lock screen, not on the activation lock screen. I can still access the springboard and I can access Cydia. The device is jailbroken and bypassed, untethered. I can now upgrade essentials. Tap on this button. Tap confirm to install the essentials needed. To run Cydia properly. And close Cydia. Reload Cydia. Tap return to Cydia. And Cydia works. And the iPhone is untethered by past. I really hope you enjoy my tutorial video. Please like, share and comment on my video, subscribe to my channel and please do donate. The link to donate is in the description below and see you in another video.